Hello everyone, this is Minecraft Magician, as always. Today we'll be looking at uh, great stuff. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, see, no spelling mistake. So awesome. Uh, so this was my first design that was uh, based on uh, my pulse limiter that I thought was so awesome because I never saw anything like it because I didn't know how it was called so I, and I didn't do any research. Yeah, you, you got that. You understood. Um, problem with this is that you, uh, user interface is shit. Uh, space wise, it's shit. And. Um, I'll show you, it's, it's really long. Uh, and it goes for three levels. Don't ask. Well, just because those damn things are just so big. Now this is my uh, latest design that's a few months old because I haven't touched it since last time I tried to record on it and the files got corrupted and I got pissed. Um, just realized that this F looks like two L's. <laughs> oh really? It's like... No, wrong blocks. I, I'm, I'm extremely distracted but see that's an L. And that's an L. My, my mind is blown away. <laughs> Why did I just notice that? I have no idea. Why is it important? It's not. But I know that if I'm playing Tetris one day, I'll try to make an F with two these things. I don't know. Don't ask. Anyway, so this is uh, my good design. Uh, it's good because it's colorful and it involves buttons and T flip flops, so you know it's good. Um, actually, this is probably the best, but it has a flaw and there, and also it's not mine. That's that's a flaw, totally. Yeah, no, um, it's it's good. It's just that uh, well, it's bigger long wise. Um, uh, but it has more functions to it, and it's a bit compact, more compact. But you know, I want something big because you know, I'm a big fat American. You know that all those stereotypes. Actually, I'm French. That's that's funny. Yeah. So um, you might notice that I get a little bit distracted. Um, I would say that's all right, but it's not. So I'll just go directly to what I was going to talk about. So how this works. I press random buttons and I lose my stuff. Okay, so how this works? Not called an axe. Um. Yeah. So how this works? I press the button. Wait for this to blink. It blinks. Look my item and whatever item is here. Um. Press it. It goes back. Wait for it to blink so I can use it again. Blinks, and I can use it again for this one. Let's look at it in action. Uh, of course, it has to mess up now because that wouldn't be fun, you know. You know this is the second time I record this. Actually, the third time if you don't count the incident with the corrupted files. Uh, what happened is that I had a T flip up that wasn't going doing right. Um, First, I f <laughs> first problem is um, is that I didn't uh, the T flip flop wasn't finished, so that was a problem. And the second problem is that I didn't connect it to the output, which was a another problem. So uh, two stupid things, and I just just uh, just, uh, just decided to re-record this because that's how I roll. So uh, we're gonna press the button. Button is pressed. And you'll notice that um, they're all facing this way except for this one. So what happens is that the button is going through the yellow, so it pr uh, turns this on. Um, the but then I have a T flip up down here, which is uh, nice. I, I I love this T flip up. It's, it's I like it's it's awesome. I don't like piston ones for some reason. Also, this one is made. This was made before pistons, so yeah. Um, so when I press the button, it switches the T flip flop. 
Now what's genius about this um, is that here you have a detect URL, it goes here. What does it do? It switches all T flip-flops. Didn't see that coming, did you? Uh-huh. Uh, so what that does is that it switches this, which is this, switches all of them. So they're all facing this way, except for this one. So it's going to catch it on its way. So I'll show you, I'll demonstrate this uh, by placing this torch briefly. So you can see they're all. F no, I need to hang myself because this is not working. I'm not happy about this. Why isn't it working? Um, so what should it, what it should be is something like this. And this. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I'm not. Oh, I think I do know. If it is this, I I need to hang myself. You know, because uh, by the way, I'm not actually wanting to hang hang myself. Uh, it's all metaphorical, um, of course. So if I press this button, does it switch? Of course it doesn't, because that would be good. Yeah, I, I, you remember when I said this, I love this design? I don't. So, <laughs> I'm going off track, as always. Um, so I'll just reset the whole system. Uh, put this back, because I know that'll bug me when I have a trouble with it because I'll forget about it. Press this so a chief of all works. Try this. And it does work. Great. Uh, I'll just do it again so it works automatically. So yeah. So this is how it No. I I don't I don't like you. Not actually that's normal because it probably triggered the reset, but that's cool. So, this was uh, how we left it. No, it's not. Um, this is how we left it. There you go. So, uh, all facing this way except for this one. Now, obviously, if I send them back right now, it would go directly into here, but since this when I press the button, goes on the de no. press the button, goes on the detector rail and switches all of them. And then uh, there's another detector rail. This one. Oh, it's raining. Um, and this one triggers the resets. I did this funky thing because uh, for some reason I was. Uh, causing problems with the card going through, so I did this, it goes through, no problem. A uh, bunch of delay, so it resets when, um, in this one would be good when I press it. By the way, I don't need T-flip up here, I don't know why I made it, uh, probably just a routine. Actually, because I made that one first, so, yeah. Um, so, the this is really compact, I'm not sure I could make it much more compact. Um... Without without redesigning it, really, uh, it's kind of deep. Uh, should probably measure it uh, when I'm not too lazy to do that, because I am a lazy man, and you know what? Laziness powers the man. So yeah. So this is the reset part. Um, this is the the pig, you know, just just chilling, just dead. Um, so this is a reset part that resets all the chief of flops uh, on the bottom. Second layer because I have two layers because these T flip flops are too big, um, and I also have the the switch the toggling part that's in orange. It's here going under from here, and on the top one it's going from over. Let's show you this. So it just goes over line. The reset here is working with this. So I have the RSNOR latch here, and I'm just adding this to the RSNOR. 
putting all these blocks to isolate it. And um, finally, the thing that's blinking is just this goes into here. Um, now, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, might do something uh, about this one later. Um, I think <laughs> I'm just going to call this design stuff because that's what I wrote on it the first time I made it and then I copied it on different world because some of them got cr um, messed up somehow still are still not happy about it um, so yeah that's my design um, you could probably beat it this one sort of beats it except that it's what I what I like about this one is that it, it's uh, not affected by the southwest world south south red wet southwest rule um, which means that you can put it on this way this way this way this way or even up vertically actually you couldn't because rails don't work that way but that it would be cool we need a mod for that vertical rails that'd be awesome hmm future best mod I tell you anyway um that's pretty much it. I probably went way over time because I keep talking. No, I'm fine. 11 minutes. Just under 15, pretty much. Somewhat. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. Um, if you think I stole your idea, idea then I totally didn't. I came up with this on my own. Um, if you want to subscribe, I won't stop you. Uh, because I have more videos upcoming and if you want to like the video because you're I you already do because I fell at talking you like that because you're a terrible person um, you can you are free to like the video because liking the video is like liking it but like like you know I, I'm completely clear to you totally understood totally Okay, so, um, again, thanks for watching, and, uh, have a great day.